Hi, welcome back to Scripture Explorers. I'm James. And I'm Aria. And we're the Scripture Explorers. You'll never catch me. That's what you think. Ha ha, I've got you now. Oh no, I'm trapped. Abraham, come quick. James is in trouble. Oh no. It looks like Arya has you cornered. What do I do? I guess I lose. Maybe not. I've seen other heroes get out of even tougher spots. Like who? Like Moses. Things weren't over for the Israelites when they left Egypt. But they finally escaped the Pharaoh. When all the firstborn Egyptian sons were killed, Pharaoh at last agreed to let the Israelite slaves go free. The people gathered their things and traveled with Moses into the wilderness. But, like many wicked men, the Pharaoh soon changed his mind and wanted to have his slaves back. He can't do that. Can he do that? He tried. He gathered his army and chased the Israelites. When the people saw the Egyptian army closing in on them, they tried to run. But they were trapped between the approaching army and the Red Sea. Like the ocean? Smaller than the ocean, but still large and dangerous. So they were stuck like me. They definitely thought they were. The Israelites didn't know how they could possibly survive. Either they could retreat and be captured or killed by the Pharaoh's army, or they could go forward and be drowned in the sea. Not a lot of good options. But God had a plan. He placed a pillar of fire between the Egyptians and the Israelites so the Egyptian army couldn't catch them. Then he told Moses to raise his staff over the water. Why? What happened? Heavenly Father parted the waters of the Red Sea. What? What? All the water raised up on both sides, high into the air. Then the Israelites were able to cross the sea on dry ground. It was a mighty miracle. It would have taken a few hours at least for them to get all the way across. And all that time, the water remained parted. All the Israelites arrived safely on the opposite shore. This experience proved to them once again that Heavenly Father was protecting them. Even though it had looked like they were in an inescapable situation, the Lord still delivered them from danger. So the Pharaoh finally, finally gave up? Sadly, no. The Pharaoh was so blinded by anger that the minute the pillar of fire disappeared, he ordered his armies to continue chasing after the Israelites. The Egyptians started across the sea floor. But as soon as every Israelite was safely across, God released the waters again. The Pharaoh and his entire army were destroyed. Wow, that must have been the greatest escape ever. But we each have escapes that are just as great. Like that time God helped you get away from your dad when he tried to sacrifice you. That's a good example of one way I was saved. And there were many times after this when Heavenly Father rescued the Israelites by sending them food to eat or making water pour out of a rock so they could drink. Sometimes, He has to step in to literally save our lives. But Heavenly Father also delivers us spiritually all the time. He delivers us from fear and sin. No matter how big the trial feels or how inescapable your situation seems, the Lord has the power to deliver you. And in those moments, we can remember Moses' words to the Israelites when they were most afraid. When they couldn't see a way out, Moses said, Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Those are our words to you, explorers, or to anyone who feels trapped. Don't be scared. Just stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. <laughs>